so I'm, I'm Mr. Bell. So for personal finance, for the last part of the personal financial plan, you're, we're gonna cover investments, right? So this is an activity that I want you to do to help prepare you for the investment plan uh, part of the personal financial plan. So there are uh, seven questions that I want you to answer as you make a plan to integrate into your monthly budget to invest money for the future. Okay, so, so the first four questions that are up here are going to be questions uh, that, that I want you to answer. And then I want you to go to this uh, calculator link that's in the spreadsheet here that you're gonna download and do this activity with. And then after you enter the, the answers to the questions, that, uh, to the questions, the first four, then you're going to get some answers from the, the calculator that you can then um, finish out your plan with for the yellow boxes on questions five, six, and seven. So I'm gonna show you how you do this here really quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and answer the first four questions. I'm gonna flip over to the calculator, enter the data in that I have um, from my answers, and then I'm going to go ahead and fill out the answers for question five, six, and seven. So let's go ahead and do this. So uh, question number one, currently, how much do you have invested? Let's say that I don't have anything invested. So I'm gonna put zero. Uh, and then it's, it says here in question two, how long will you add to your investment? So this is something that you have to decide it could be based on your age, it could be based on a retirement goal, it could be based on um, any your personal circumstances, right? So for example, let's say it's for me, right? And so I'm, I'm uh, here in my early 40s and I wanna retire when I'm 60. So let's say really around when I'm in my 60s, so let's say I have 20 years to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 20 on that, so question two is gonna be in years. Even though you're investing monthly, uh, the calculator is gonna help us uh, convert from years to months, and I'll show you how to do that. So question number three here, what is the estimated rate of return for your investment? So this is the annual rate of return that you're gonna have for your investment. So let's say, and really this depends on what type of investment you're going to invest in. So let's say I'm gonna go ahead and do a, uh, a mutual fund, indexed mutual fund. So just something simple and relatively safe, but it should have a decent return on it. So let's say over those 20 years, I'm gonna average, um, I'll go ahead and say 8%. Okay, so we'll just put that in as the percent. So it's gonna be 8% there. And then uh, next question, so how much can you invest every month through budgeting? So okay, so this is this is the trick for this investment section. So with this section, you're going to commit yourself, or at least plan, right? Whether you do this or not, at least you gotta have a plan first, right? So um, we're going to go ahead and say, okay, every month I'm going to, for 20 years, I'm gonna invest $100. Let's just say that's my goal and that's what I'm gonna do. This could change over time, but just for now I'll say $100. Going forward, I'm gonna invest it for 20 years at 8%. I currently, let's assume I don't have anything invested at this point. So now what I'm gonna do, now, now I have enough information that I can go ahead and flip over to uh, the calculator link here. And I'll, I'll go ahead and click on this link here and it's gonna open up a calculator online. Okay, so here it is. So this is the investment calculator. It's on calculator.net. There probably will be some advertisements that come up, so just ignore those. They're usually related to financial matters. But anyways, so this is, we see here um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use this tab. It's called end amount. It's the leftmost tab on this calculator. And we're gonna go ahead and put in the data that we already have. So for example, that first question, question number one, is how much do I currently have to, in investments? Uh, if it's zero, then go ahead and leave that at zero. If you have some money that you can start off with, you're gonna have to change that to what you currently have to start with. Okay, so I'll go ahead and leave it. 
Um, and this is going to be how long am I going to leave it invested for? I put 20 years, so I'm going to go ahead and put 20 in there. Um, rate of return, I selected, I think it was 8%. So whatever you're going to do for your rate of return, right? There are some investments actually. Um, Dave Ramsey says that you can get 12% from your investment. So if you want to do the Dave Ramsey uh, method and do that, go ahead and uh, leave it or put it at 12%. Uh, if you're going to be a little more conservative, then you might be at around 5 to 7%. So we'll talk about this in class a little bit. Um, and you can read the, uh, the total money makeover and kind of get your take on exactly what you think your rate of return will be from your specific investment. Okay, so this is my additional contribution. So this is what I'm going to invest monthly. So monthly here is checked down below, and I'm going to invest $100 a month. If you uh, are able to do more, you can go ahead and uh, bring that up to $300 a month, for example. Or if you can't do that much, then maybe it's $50 a month or 25, but whatever it is, plan on that. So my mine's 100, so I'll go ahead and switch it over to 100 here. And then I'm gonna uh, click this green calculate button okay so now as I do that the results over to the right here are going to change so my end balance so this is going to be starting over here let me flip back to my spreadsheet so now my yellow right so I've entered all the green in that I that I put now I'm able to take the answers uh, that I get from this scenario and put it into my yellow Right, so the very first one here, let's flip back over here, is in balance right here, right? So in balance, $56,899.91. So that is going to come over into my spreadsheet and it's gonna be the answer to question number five. Okay, so there it is right there. So that is, I, I copied and pasted it over, that's why it switched over there. So that's my answer to question number five. Uh, question number six is, what is the total amount of contributions you invested? So this is the principal, right? This is my $100 every month, plus any, uh, uh, plus any initial investment that I had. I put zero as my initial investment. So it's just, how much did my $100 add up to over 20 years, right? Not interest. So just what my initial investment was, I'm gonna go ahead and flip back there. And my initial investment, my total contributions were $24,000. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip back and put that in. So 24,000, okay. And, uh, and you can format this in, in using dollars and percents if you want to. Um, uh, you can also, if you don't wanna do this in Excel, you know, feel free to print this out and then do it by hand. Uh, just make sure you get that link to the calculator and I'll have it out on uh, Canvas as well, another link that you can use as well as if you want to do that. So if you don't want to use Excel, that's fine, you can do that. But it's easier to use Excel, right, to get all this typed up in here nice and clean. And then uh, last one, question number seven, we'll flip back. What is the total amount of interest earned from your for your investment plan? right, or from your investment plan. I'll, I'll switch the wording on that there. So it's right here. Here's the total amount of interest earned. So I have actually earned more interest at 8% for tw in 20 years if, than I invested, right, than my contributions. So that's gonna be, I'm gonna copy that with Control C on my keyboard once I've selected it and throw it over here or you can just key it in if you want to, right? So there's my uh, there's the answers that I have here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over. Okay, so, so now this is the data that I have, right? And I can clean this up and I can make this part of my personal financial plan as I say, okay, currently what is the situation for investment? That's question number one. Tell me what you're currently doing, what you're invested in, um, what you've done up to the, the point that you write your financial plan, right? And now what is your what is your plan for the future? So include this, right? So this is exactly your plan for the future, right? If you're able to do this, this is what I would suggest you put in there. And so you're gonna say, I'm gonna invest for 20 years 
at, at 8% interest in maybe a mutual fund or an index fund, whatever your investment is, right? If you're going to invest in livestock or real estate, whatever the, the expected rate of return is, is on that, you know, put that. Um, how much you're able to invest monthly, okay? In, in your budget, through your budget, budgets are super important for this class. That's the foundation for this class is you've got to have a budget. You've got to do the tracking, the budgeting, and the saving to make your goals happen. If you don't do that, then you, you're you're going to be far behind on reaching your financial goals. So then you're going to have these answers to put in there. And the plan is, I'm going to do these things, the action plan, so I'll have this much at the end of 20 years, um, of which $24,000 will have been my um, contribution amount, what I've contributed, and $32,899.91 is the amount of interest earned. Okay. So that's basically the investment section, right? You got to know what you're going to invest in, what your return's going to be, how long you're going to do it, how you're going to get it integrated into your budget, and then what the results will be. So this is a good tool to do that with. Uh, if you have any more questions, feel free to email me, and I'm more than willing to walk with you uh, through this one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Either um, if you're an online student, I can do it online with you. Uh, over the phone, or if you're a live student, um, if you can make it to my office, then come into my office during office hours and we can get it done. Thanks, have a good day, and uh, happy investing.